Hello, Mighty Companion. This is Earl Raj Purdy, and I'm here today to do Course in Miracles lesson number 251. And Course in Miracles lesson number 251 is, I am in need of nothing but the truth. I am in need of nothing but the truth. I am in need of nothing but the truth. You are in need of nothing but the truth. You are in need of nothing but the truth. I am in need of nothing but the truth. I have sought for many things and I found despair. I have I have sought for many things and I found despair. Now do I seek but one thing, for in that one thing is all I need, and in that one thing is only what I need. All that I saw before I needed not, all that I saw before I needed not, and all that I saw before I did not even want, my only need, I did not recognize my only need. But now I see that I need only truth. Now I see that I need only truth. And in that all needs are satisfied, all cravings in, all hopes are finally fulfilled and dreams are gone. Now that I have the truth, now have I everything that I could need. Now that I have the truth, I have everything that I could need. Now I have the truth, so I have everything that I could need. Now that I have everything that I could want, and now at last I find myself at peace. And for that peace, and for that peace, our Father, we give thanks. And for that peace, and for that peace, our Father, we give thanks. What we denied ourselves, you have restored. What we denied ourselves, you have restored. And only what you have restored, which is the truth, is what we really want. You are in need of nothing but the truth. You sought for many things and found despair. And now do you seek but one. And in that one thing that you seek is all you need and only what you need. All that you sought before you needed not. All that you sought before you needed not. And all that you sought before you did not even want. Your only need you did not wreck. Recognize. But now you see that you need only truth, I say now. But now you see that you need only truth. In truth, all needs are satisfied. In truth, all cravings end, end, end. In truth, all hopes are fully fulfilled. And in truth, all dreams are gone. Now have you everything that you could need, the truth. Oh, now you have everything that you could need. Now have you everything that you could want, the truth. Now have you everything that you could want. And now at last you find yourself at peace. And now at last you find yourself at peace. And for that peace, our Father, we give thanks. For we denied ourselves, for we denied ourselves. You have restored. And only that is what we really want. So I'm going to say now, I am in need of nothing but the truth. You are in need of nothing but the truth. You are in need of nothing but the truth. I am in need of nothing but the truth. I am in need of nothing but the truth. You are in need of nothing but the truth. I'm Earl Raj Purdy, but Earl Purdy. Go to www.earlpurdy.com and check out my classes and videos and audios online. And remember, you are in need of nothing but God. You're in need of nothing. You are in need but nothing but the truth. Hello, hello, this is Earl Raj Purdy, and we're going to do what is sin from a Course in Miracles perspective. What is sin? <clears throat> sin is insanity. 
Sin is the means by which the mind is driven mad. The belief in sin is the means by which the mind is driven mad. Seeks to let illusion take the place of truth. And being mad, the mind that believes in sin sees illusions where truth should be. The mind that believes in sin sees false ideas where it really is. The idea of sin, the belief in sin, gave the body eyes. For what is for what is there, for what is there that the sinless would behold? What need have the innocent of sights or sounds or touch? What need have the innocent of sights or sounds or touch? What would the innocent hear? What would the innocent reach to grasp? What would the innocent sense at all? To sense is not to know. To sense is not to know. To sense is not to know. When you sense something, it actually means you don't really know it beyond doubt. And truth can be but filled with knowledge. Truth can be but filled with knowledge. Truth can be but filled with knowledge and with nothing else. The body is the instrument. Do you know that the body is the instrument your mind made in its efforts to deceive itself? The body is the instrument the mind made in its efforts to deceive itself. The purpose of the body is to strive. The purpose of the body is to strive. Yet can the goal of striving change? Yet can the goal of striving change? And now the body serves a different aim for striving. Now your body serves a different aim for striving. Now the body serves a different aim for striving. What the body seeks for now is chosen by the goal the mind has taken as replacement for the goal of self-deception. What the body seeks for now, what your body seeks for now is chosen by the aim the mind has taken as replacement for the goal of self-deception. Truth can be your body's aim as well as lies. You can use your body to make you aware of the truth as well as using your body to make yourself aware of lies. Then the senses, the senses of your body then will seek instead for witnesses to what is true. So let your body's senses seek instead for witnesses to what is true. Let your body seek for witnesses to what is true. The idea of sin is the home of all illusions. The belief in sin is the home of all illusions. All illusions, all false ideas, which but stand for things imagined, issuing from thoughts that are untrue. Sin is the home of all illusions. Sin is the home of all illusions, which but stand for things imagined, issuing from thoughts that are untrue. So-called sins are the proof that what has no reality is real. The idea of sin proves God's Son. The idea of sin proves you, God's Son, is evil. The idea of sin proves that timelessness, which is eternal life, must have an end. The belief in sin proves that you, the infinite, unlimited child of God, that you have eternal life, but still it looks like you must die. And the idea of sin kind of proves that God himself has lost God's child, that God loves. What but corruption? It looks like that the child that God created innocent has been lost from God, with but corruption to complete God now. The idea and belief in sin the idea and belief in sin. It makes it look like God has lost you, the child God loves, with but corruption to complete God's self. It looks like 
God's will is forever overcome by death with the belief in sin. It looks like love has been slain by hate with the belief in sin. It looks like there is no more peace if we believe in sin and believe sin is real. A madman's dreams are frightening. A madman's dreams are frightening. And the sin appears indeed to terrify. I will say it again. A madman's dreams are frightening. And sin appears indeed to terrify. A madman's dreams are frightening. And sin indeed appears to terrify. And yet what the belief in sin perceives is but a childish game. But what the man that believes in sin perceives is but a childish game. You, the child of God, you, the child of God, I'm talking to you, 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 the child of God, you, the child of God, you, the child of God. Do you know you may play you have become a body? You may play you have become prey to evil. You may play you have become prey to guilt with but a little life that ends in death. The child of God may play he has become a body, prey to evil and to guilt but with a little life that ends in death. But all the while, while you're playing like there's any such thing as sin, while you're playing like there is such a thing as guilt, your Creator is still shining on you and loves you with an everlasting love, which your pretenses cannot change at all. So no matter how you th feel, no matter what you think about yourself, the love of God is still shining on you and God loves you with an everlasting love, which your pretenses cannot change at all. How long, O oh son of God, how long, O oh child of God, will you maintain the game of believing in sin and guilt? How long, O oh child of God, will you maintain the game of sin? How long, O oh child of God, shall you maintain the game of sin. Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? How long, O child of God, will you maintain the game of sin? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? Shall we not put away these sharp-edged children's toys? How soon will you be ready to come home? <clears throat> How soon will you be ready to come home to your innocence and your peace? Perhaps today, perhaps today, there is no such thing as sin. There is no such thing as sin. There is no sin. There is no such thing as sin. Creation is unchanged. Creation is unchanged. Would you still hold return to heaven perfect happiness back? Would you still hold your return to perfect happiness back? How long, O oh innocent holy son of God, how long, O oh innocent child of God, will you hold return to heaven back? Would, would you still hold return to your perfect happiness back? How long, O oh, healing, loving child of God? So, sin is insanity. The belief in sin is insanity. So don't forget, check me out at www.earlpurdy.com. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.